Good evening, Kings Park community. This is Dr. Egan with an important COVID-19 update. I want to start this evening with a genuine thank you to all of our parents, students, and employees who are diligently respecting the New York State Department of Health and CDC guidelines that were put in place to keep our population safe and best ensure that our students remain in school during the pandemic. Without your cooperation, we would not have been able to reopen our schools in September and keep them open thus far this fall. Every day, I see students and employees coming into our schools, wearing masks, watching their distance, teaching and learning behind desk shields, washing and sanitizing their hands regularly. I am in absolute awe of how we are all rising to the challenge in spite of all the obstacles and challenges that we face on a daily basis. Thank you, and please keep up the great work. This past week, I became aware that the Suffolk County Department of Health Services Contact Tracing Unit has been overwhelmed with cases in the county. These cases have largely been attributed to behavior over the Halloween weekend and other large social gatherings. For example, a recent birthday party on the South Shore with approximately 50 attendees and a lack, lack of mask wearing resulted in 36 new COVID cases and several school closures. This past week, our county's positivity level doubled and areas in our county are in danger of being designated as microclusters. These zones bring both restrictions for businesses and schools. Here in Kings Park, we have largely been successful this fall. Our Safe Pride Committee did an exceptional job preparing us for reopening and then expansion of services. However, my very real fear is that our success is in danger. I cannot emphasize enough that we can directly impact whether our schools and businesses stay open through our choices and behavior. None of us want to switch back to remote learning for extended periods of time again. We need to continue to take steps forward and not behave in ways that will require us to take steps backwards. Please check your email for a link to a video recording of a virtual news conference with the superintendent of Greece Central School District in Monroe County which is located in Western New York, just west of Rochester. In this news conference, Superintendent Groutman describes how the yellow zone designation in Greece is impacting their schools, including required COVID-19 testing. Schools in designated yellow zones are required to test 20% of their students and employees weekly in order to remain open. This video should serve as a very real eye opener for us, an important reminder that our behavior today and in over the coming holidays is of vital importance to our students and our schools. I also wanna emphasize the importance of cooperating with school district and Suffolk County contact tracers and keeping your children home if and when they are not feeling well and or when you are awaiting COVID-19 testing results. Should a situation arise that necessitates your child being tested for COVID-19, please inform your, school, your child's school so that they can properly record the absence, ensure continuity of learning, and give you guidance reg require, regarding required or potential quarantine and return to school procedures. By acting responsibly, we can help keep others healthy and safe. Our single most important focus as we move forward needs to be our children. We need to behave in ways that best assures that our schools will remain open and we can provide support and continuity of learning for the children. Thank you for your time and have a safe evening. Be well.